and thanks for tuning in to another awful movie review. It's jungle time. Just imagine if somebody ever decided to write a book focusing on the history of ripoffs in American cinema. He would have to include Forbidden Jungle, because this is obviously a ripoff of Tarzan. It's a poor man's version of the story. Nothing will happen, I assure you. Oh, you are dead right about that. But just before we get going, if there's a bad movie you would like me to review, just leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and let me know your thoughts and feelings on Forbidden Jungle. That's the best offer I've had in a long time. So, as I was saying, like the title suggests, this is an adventure movie set in the deep jungles of Africa. I assume that's what it is, judging by the fauna that they show. Elephants, chimpanzees, leopards... It so happens that my information is very reliable. But the cast playing the natives are all about as African as I am the Queen of England. In other films like Monster from Green Hell, also set in Africa, the producers used stock footage from another film, but at least it made it look more real. Here, they weren't even trying. I guess I'm doing a pretty bad job of it. Most of the movie looks the same anyways, you can clearly see the jungle set in the back. Why is this a Tarzan ripoff, you may ask? Well, an explorer is tasked with bringing back a baby boy who was dropped in the jungle a long time ago. This kid, now a grown man called Tawa, is rumored to be still alive. The explorer brings with him a tiger brought back from his expedition in India. I captured him in India. He's a rare specimen of a man killer. Fearful of losing him, I brought him along for safekeeping. That just seems very inconvenient to have a whole group of random people carry a man-eating tiger in a cage while on an expedition into unknown territory, but maybe that's just me. The more I learned, the greater the mystery seemed. He meets a man living in a local village with his daughter and the so-called African natives. No white man has ever gone into that forest and lived to return. It's known as the Forbidden Jungle. Oh yeah, now you're talking, this movie is starting to ramp up the tension. Oh well, that was pretty quick. The guy got to this kid easy peasy lemon squeezy without any problems. So what is so forbidden, so dangerous about this whole jungle? Nothing apparently. And that's a big letdown. But let me tell you something that is not a rumor, but a definite proven fact. This movie is a total waste of time. It's an hour of slow, dreary, and confusing crap. I just felt like sleeping during the whole thing. I felt like one who had been through a long sleep. Sometimes this feels like an under-average, family-friendly picture. Sometimes it feels like an animal documentary. Because the, the film is filled to the brim with stock footage of different animals. One after the other, and it just never ever stops. I guess this is one of those productions where the story was so thin that they had to do everything they could to reach the one hour bar. So they include scenes with chimpanzees fooling around and acting like dopes for straight up several minutes, and it does that several times. You'll see a lot of unusual things around here. Imagine the people going into the cinema back then, wanting to watch a tense and thrilling adventure movie, but instead they get this nonsense. During the third and final act, one of the chimps frees the tiger from its cage, and this big feline goes on to attack some people and all the stock footage animals that Tawa was friends with. I find it hilarious how this chimp is clapping at the sight of this massacre. Hooray! This must have been his master plan all along. Never let them know your next move. Oh, I see. This being a B-movie adventure film from the first half of the 20th century, you can't have a genre flick like that without having a man in a gorilla suit, who appears for like 3 minutes and then dies, even though he was never credited for it. The man under that costume was Ray Crash Corrigan, the same dude who went on to play the alien monster in It, The Terror From Beyond Space. I felt I couldn't complain. I was being paid very well. Mmm, yeah. By the looks of this, with its bad acting and awful, awful junk cuts, I'm not sure he did. Yes, all's well that ends well. Half of their animal friends have been butchered, the guy's tiger has also been stabbed to death, and he doesn't even receive any money in the end. But hey, always look on the bright side of life, I guess. Overall, this Forbidden Jungle movie is not one bit good. It makes me want to know why they even bothered making this joke of a film. It's about as adventurous as me going from my bed to lay down on my couch in the living room. What an awful movie.